Hi everybody, it's July 31, 2018. I'm going to try to do this quickly. Uh, just go through this frequency spectrum chart, which was copyrighted in 1968 by the Electrical and Electronics Engineers of the Rockwell Corporation. This was sent to me by a subscriber a long time ago. I want to thank that subscriber, but I've got it. I have to just show you what is on this frequency spectrum chart. I'm not going to read um, just all of this. You can pause and read it if you want, but um, yes, this frequency spectrum chart illustrates man's and nature's activity in the use of electromagnetic energy as a function of frequency. We are frequent. All life is frequency. All life is frequency. The earth resonates a frequency. The Schumann resonance. When man has the technology that they can change these frequencies, that man has to make a decision. Hmm. Well, I know that the frequencies can be used for good or it can be used to destroy life. Well, how am I going to use it? I'm going to use it to destroy life. And that's how they've been using it. Showing man's use and natural phenomena in simple terms of a common denominator, frequency. You are frequency. You are an electromagnetic being. being. Your brain operates on frequency. Every cell in your body operates on frequency. So we've been saturated in this 2G, 3G, 4G microwave spectrum 24-7 for many, many years. That has been doing an awful lot of damage, but this chart goes to the 5G, the millimeter wave, which we have been using already. The radar. Um, and again, you can read this yourself if you want to. It's not that interesting. Uh, incidences of such side effects because they do have as part of the chart side effects well those uh, side effects that indicates the frequencies at which experiments have been performed and the chart is part of the pub publication of the Joint Technical Advisory Committee Spectrum Engineering the Key to Progress March 1968 um, just to show you, yeah, infrasonic, and it goes to sonic, and it goes up to ultrasonic, which ultrasonic, okay, that's where uh, we're the Gwen Towers. The ultrasonic frequencies, the ultrasonic attacks against those Cuban and Chinese or China, the embassy personnel, Americans, they claiming that they were attacked with ultrasonic or sonic weapons. They having a broad range, but th the symptoms were quite similar. They have these weapons. They're using these weapons. The Gwen Towers emit within this spectrum and those wind towers, those ultra-low frequencies, are being shot off. Take a look at the National Mosaic, and my God, we are being attacked. Uh, here, you know, the radio, the television, the Wi-Fi, radar, millimeter. So, radar operates in the millimeter wave. They already have been using the millimeter wave. And guess how they can use it? They can use those Doppler, the radar Doppler signatures for security applications like detection and assessment of human activity at airports, power plants, well, anywhere. So, millimeter wave. 5G. If they and it does make sense that this would radar would be operating in the millimeter wave uh, spectrum because that's the military's bandwidth, so the military uses, you know, the radar. 
But why are they putting up all of those small cells all over the place? And I'll get to that, but I will tell you, uh, they are putting up these small cells outside people's homes, outside stores, all over your neighborhoods, all over the community, because, well, you'll see, it's the active denial system. They want high-resolution surveillance of you 24-7, they can use this to look into your homes. Now they can use the microwave. The Wi-Fi is also a surveillance application. It can be used to, uh, for that purpose. But the millimeter wave gives them high resolution surveillance. So everything that you're doing in your home, when you're walking down the street, everything that you're carrying on your person, in your briefcase, in your uh, everything in your shopping bags, everything in your purse, everything in your pockets, in real time. And that is why they are putting up all of those small cells. No, sorry, our military, well, they didn't just decide to share their bandwidth with civilians because our military, well, we just wanted you guys to have a faster download. You know what? We're not going to see much speed increase. You know, it, I don't understand how it is. But, well, they can use these frequencies that can affect brain waves. So I giving Americans the benefit of the doubt. A lot of the insanity is coming from the frequencies affecting their brains. But the small cell structure, so these small cells will be everywhere. If they use it for their active denial system, the military, it's a non-lethal weapon. Active denial system is the millimeter wave. It's 5G. And the active denial system, it will support a full spectrum of operations ranging from non-lethal me methods of crowd control, crowd dispersal, convoy and patrol protection, checkpoint security, perimeter security, area denial, and port protection, as well as other defensive and offensive operations do you realize what they are putting up in your neighborhoods all over? If they want to lock you into your neighborhood, they activate the active denial system from those small cells. No joke. You try to get out of your neighborhood, you won't be able to because the active denial system millimeter waves can kill you, can burn you, can cause such intense pain you won't go near the perimeter that they are securing. Perimeter security. If they want to lock you in your home, they can do it. If they want to kill you on the street, they can do it. This is not good. And I do believe that this is the ultimate, you know, prison that we are unfortunately so happy to get. Oh, I'm going to be able to download faster. I'll have faster speed. Won't it be great? It has nothing to do with that. Nothing to do with that. Um, so. Let me get back. Here's the radar. Operates in millimeter. And yes, surveillance. Radar penetrates foliage. So for those who think that they're going to bug out into the forests, I got a comment today from somebody who was just thinking out loud and thought maybe the fires, you know, they're using them to weed out the illegal immigrants to not allow them any place to hide. There is no place to hide. 
not with the technology that man has. You're not going to be bugging out into the forest. They have, they've got, they have all the technology. You know, they can scan a forest area and they will pick up your body temperature, locating you. So, no, there is no, nowhere to go. Eye damage. How are your eyes doing? My vision is deteriorating rapidly. The experimental, but see, I believe that they have been using these frequencies within the, the entire spectrum. But water resonance, oxygen resonance, resonance. So with these frequencies that man has, they can actually alter the molecular uh, composition of oxygen, water, infrared. So this is a millimeter. Uh, it's within the millimeter bandwidth, which the military uses. So water absorption, molecular rotation, water absorption, molecular vibration, forest fire detection. Yeah, you know, look, okay, we understand that we have been doused in highly flammable chemicals and heavy metals, nanoparticulates, and the trees, the foliage, the vegetation, everything, homes. Okay, so everything's been made highly flammable with all of the geoengineering, all of the spraying. We also understand directed energy weapons. But for those Americans who are still believing all of the lies, how is it we've had this forest fire detection for a very, very long time. So why aren't they thinking, if we can detect forest fires very quickly and easily, why don't they just put them out quickly and easily? Why are they letting them explode? But not much begs questions anymore. But this water absorption kind of got me thinking the oceans receding and disappearing. Remember Hurricane Irma, Tampa Bay, Florida? Remember this. Okay, this is a tweet. Tampa Bay now an effective dog park as we wait for Irma. These dogs running around where there was supposed to be water in Tampa Bay. And another tweet. Hours before Irma hits, the water is literally being sucked out of Tampa Bay. Where's it going? Hmm. But hours before Irma hits, hours before the dogs are playing where they ordinarily would not be able to, they'd be swimming. So those uh, receding waters a lot of us were posting on, this is the explanation. National Weather Service meteorologist Ryan Rogers explained the phenomena as a kind of a reverse storm surge. When wind pushes water onto land, we get storm surge. What has happened in Tampa Bay is when pushing water away from the shore. Essentially, the winds are strong enough and blowing in just the right direction to push the water out of the bay and into the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, wow. What a time we live, huh? So, I guess the winds from Irma came, pushed the water out. Oh, and then, uh, how does this work? Okay, Irma, they're waiting for Irma. Hours, they're waiting hours for Irma. So Irma, wait, Irma, it didn't come to push out the water in Tampa Bay. Uh, and if it was still windy, well, you wouldn't see these dogs playing happily. And this guy on at, at Tampa Bay. Because the winds, obviously, would be really strong if it pushed all of that water out into the Gulf. And you know what? I'm so tired of Americans not being able to see through what they are reading in mainstream media. So Irma did not push the water out because Irma had not arrived to 
create the winds in the right direction to push that water out. But, all right, fortunately, someone has common sense. Brazil has experienced this. Long Island, I say Long Island, it's Long Island, but that's how the Long Islanders say it. Um, Bahamas, Uruguay. Well, here we have scientists say the ocean receding phenomenon is due to a huge storm sucking up the waters, building up the storm surge. So I guess the winds weren't pushing it out. The storm was so huge, it was sucking up the waters. But common sense here. Thank you, whoever wrote this article from the website Strange Sounds. This is the fourth time that this anomalous tidal effect is recorded along the Atlantic coast of Brazil and Uruguay. So, uh, it wasn't a giant storm every single time. So what's going on? What is going on, man? Mysteries, mysteries. And this is just too, I, I can't even understand what this guy is talking about. Center of the hurricane, well, it builds up or piles up. It has a bulging effect. And at the center of the hurricane, well, the water builds up to 10 to 15 feet above the normal high tide. The water must come from somewhere. Hell, okay. All right, so hurricanes, that's how they do it. They suck up the water in the ocean and then dump it on you. Okay, I just want to say this. In Truth by Grace, she provided the evidence, the winds that mainstream media was... <laughs> It was an abject lie. They were claiming it was 185 miles per hour. I posted videos. The mayor of Naples said, uh, he, I, and I can't remember, it's on my channel, but he was saying that the recording of the winds from, I guess, a local airport or whatever, uh, well, it was not what mainstream media was saying. And in fact, the winds were hardly anything. It was not hurricane winds. Yes, we're being lied to on a massive scale. And then we have these useful idiots contributing to the lie. But it's dangerous. Lying is very dangerous because lies destroy life. So this is the millimeter wave. I'll go through the propagation effects, generation, and side effects of 5G. This is what is coming closer to you with these small cells. Oxygen absorption in atmosphere. Great. That's what it's going to do. Absorb the oxygen. Do you understand what that means? That's not good. It's really not very good. Water vapor absorption. I believe that they can use these frequencies, and it might just be the frequency in the uh, infrared, where they can literally absorb the water. Uh, it's not a far-fetched um, theory, shall I say. So when you have these frequencies that can literally absorb water, vapor, absorb oxygen. Do you think that they're going to be using this 5G just so that, I mean, they're letting us use it just so that we can download faster? People are going to be really dying off. And I do not believe that our population is, what, 324 million? Oh, I, I don't even think we're at 3 million anymore. The microwaves in the 2G, 3G, 4G are dangerous enough. The 5G coming along, shooting at us everywhere we are, walking in our homes, this is, this is going to cripple people. You know, the oxygen absorption, think about the exponential increase in, what is this, COPD or something? What is that? It's, you know, 
where people are having a hard time breathing, there are often days when I feel like the air is so dead, but I have a hard time breathing. And then, which I experienced just, uh, just recently, about a week ago, I was walking and I thought, my God, it's like it was an entirely different experience. I wasn't physically in pain. I had some energy. The air felt somewhat alive. And then we revert right back to dead and can't breathe. This 5G, wow, is it going to really... They will be able to do anything at this point, considering these weapons are invisible. It won't matter what the result is because Americans just can't think anymore. You know, when we see the result of these fires out in California, and we see that something is very wrong with an awful lot of the pictures, that homes are being targeted and cars are being targeted, and somehow those forest fires now are just leaping over all trees and bushes and, and leveling homes like they were bombed instead of a home that was on fire. Fire so hot that it's literally just turning to ash everything, pretty much everything, sinks and tubs and file cabinets and everything. No. Well, all of that should beg questions in people's minds, but it's not. So when we enter this uh, small cell 5G structure and it's everywhere, I, I honestly believe they can, by the way, direct those waves. So if they do want to, if they see somebody doing something that is naughty, they can hit them with a wave. This is all going to be in real time. And they can also kill people. And you know what? I think Americans will be fine with that. They won't even question that. They'll, they'll, they'll believe that it's for their security. Just wanted to highlight that. And that. So, generation of 5G, emissions from hydrogen cyanide, not good. CDC, hydrogen cyanide, is a chemical warfare agent, asphyxiant, interferes with normal use of oxygen of nearly every organ of the body. So, I don't think that they're going to use you know, the particular frequency where people are just going to be dropping dead before your very eyes. But what's going to happen is a whole lot of people will be diagnosed with COPD, if that's even the right, you know, letters or whatever. A whole lot of people are going to be walking around with oxygen tanks. We'll see an increase in that. But a whole lot of people will be diagnosed with an awful lot of diseases and they won't even know the cause and the cause will be that the organs in your body are not getting the oxygen that they need so this hydrogen cyanide these millimeter waves in this spectrum they can generate emissions from hydrogen cyanide did you know FEMA just ordered 2,500 gallons of hydrogen cyanide? Bought it from a Brazilian manufacturer. And I didn't know, did the Democratic Party openly announced America's last 4th of July? Did any of you hear about that? I didn't. So we've got FEMA buying an awful lot of hydrogen cyanide and 5G, these millimeter waves, they can generate emissions from hydrogen cyanide.
Well, we may very soon be breathing in hydrogen cyanide. Oh, did I tell you it's fatal? Side effects of 5G. Uh, electromagnetic energy absorbed by skin and skin nerve endings with sensation of heat. So the small cell su structure, these 5G cells all over the place, outside your home, outside stores, when you're walking down the street, if they do want to lock you into a neighborhood, they've got their perimeter security with 5G. Uh, it, when irradiated in this particular um, spectrum, the wing and leg of chickens extended. So the side effects, remember, were the, it indicates the frequencies in which experiments were done. So think about the targeted individual who has said, you know, I'm not moving my arms or legs or toes or f uh, um, fingers. Something else is, and they're not believed. They don't understand that these frequencies can make people do things they would not ordinarily do and they can cont take control over your body over your bod bodily functions over your limbs and you can't tell me that they haven't been using these frequencies in the infrared the millimeter wave and I did read one of the, I don't know what it was, a RAND Corporation, some paper. And my organizational skills are, are now really rapidly declining. I don't know where. I think I saved the paper. But it was talking about the use of millimeter waves already in our gadgets. Now, because I can't find that paper, I, I don't have that proof. You're just going to have to trust me or not. But they were talking about the electronic gadgets using the millimeter wave already. I think we're up there, guys. I think the small cell structure, I'll say it again, they put putting this out all over, that's the prison that Americans are just so happy to get because they'll be able to download faster. It's the prison. It's the high resolution surveillance. It's the perimeter security. If they want to keep people out of certain neighborhoods, you know, the wealthy, perimeter security. You don't get to go. Ants align their antennae parallel to the electromagnetic field. Remember that video? If you saw it, I posted it. It was posted on a lot of channels where somebody was showing with their cell phone how when they turned on the cell phone, all ants began to, to um, circle the cell phone. You could see it happen. The ants were kind of scattered on the cell phone and the turning it on, suddenly all of the ants were like robot ants walking in a circle. Um, yeah, tissue penetration. Only skin and outer surface organs are heated. This has been within the range that we have lived. 2G, 3G, well, it's a little higher, maybe 4G. Um, eye damage from strong electromagnetic radiation. Body protein coagulates. Optical properties changed in glycogen, uh, glycogen, glycogen solution. Glycogen has to do with storing carbohydrates, uh, something about glucose. When you have frequencies that can alter the frequencies of every cell in your body, or it can coagulate your proteins, it can damage your eyes. This is not good. What has manifested has it's our environment. 
everything about our environment now is very dangerous. So the 4G, the older generation, microwaves, propagation, generation, side effects, all. a lot of this we know. It can generate micro discharge from warm clouds. Think about what's his name? Michu, Kuku, Kachu, whatever. That lying sack of crap on mainstream media a lot. He talking about the lasers? Yeah. And a billion watt laser pointing it at a cloud can produce rain. They've been using this already. Um, side effects lethal to some bacteria cells. It can make gladiola growth increase 200%. These frequencies can be used for good or they can be used for uh, the purpose of destroying life. And I had a conversation with someone recently who is still not quite understanding how it is that they can be doing this when they're affected too. They, the, the elite, you know, the, I was asked by a subscriber to stop saying elite and use the word parasite. Yeah, these parasites, you know, they breathe the air and they're subjected to these frequencies. I do believe that they have vaccines that are not loaded with poisonous uh, mercury or aluminum. Uh, they have vaccines to keep them safe from a lot of the disease that the ordinary folk are getting. They can use these frequencies to enhance their health, to keep them healthy, to, um, to alleviate any kind of pain that they have. That's how they use them. You know, the top tier not the useful idiots below them, but it's absolutely used to help them, uh, to benefit them, but it's destroying us. Side effects, hyperthermia, they can produce that in man. Uh, bugs killed and bred, insect control. Think about all of the insects that are dying all over the world. Tinnitus, head buzzing or knocking sound heard. This is tinnitus, and tinnitus is exponentially increasing in our population. I do believe that it is far higher than 51 million Americans suffering, uh, and apparently it's the number one disability of our men and women in uniform, costing the U.S. about 1.7 billion a year to treat. There are no cures for tinnitus. This was 2015, uh, uh, 2014, sorry. So in four years, you can bet your bottom dollar it's more than 50 million. But how many people are just living with it and they're not complaining about the tinnitus to their doctor so it's not recorded? A whole lot of us. Yes, our veterans are suffering from hearing loss, tinnitus. Think about the frequencies that they are subjected to in these wars. We have associations, American Tinnitus Association. Yeah, why don't you donate? It's like the American Cancer Association. Donate. We've got cures for cancer. Frequencies can be used to cure a whole lot of disease. They keep that under wraps because everything's for profit, money. Um, Get rid of the Wi-Fi, get rid of this technology that we're using, and suddenly you don't need an American Tinnitus Association. Understanding the facts. Give me a break. But in the UK, they're making it mental illness. Sorry, you guys in the UK. Yeah, your tinnitus, it's mental illness. It's your neuroticism. That's right. There's growing evidence that the perception of severity is closely related to personality factors such as neuroticism, putative, predisposing personality factors. Neuroticism, that's what's causing your tinnitus. I can't believe what we're living. It is so unbelievable. But in the 4G, cosmic noise, atmospheric absorption noise, 
all of those booms, all of the noises that we hear, hell, thunder, now is generated by man. <clears throat> it also affects the human nervous system. Most energy absorbed with possible damage to internal organs by internal heating, it's due to lack of heat sensation. So, you don't feel these microwaves heating your organs, and that's why your organs end up being damaged. You may not feel these frequencies, but they feel your body, and they go into your body, and they affect every cell and every organ in your body. You don't feel the heat sensation, but they're destroying your organs. And all of these other effects, the Pearl chain reaction in bacteria, which I, I, I don't have the time to research everything. Um, human brain senses electromagnetic energy within like the 4G. We're, we're getting absolutely destroyed, killed off. This is like 3G, 4G lesions produced in brain of rat, pulse modulated uh, um, ultra high frequency energy evoked potentials in brain stem of cats, Gwen Towers can emit ultra high frequencies, Gwen Towers, well, they were supposed to be 200 or 300 miles apart, it was the ground wave emergency system, it was decommissioned decades ago. So why do we have more and more Gwen Towers going up? Because they're using it for weather modification and mind control. Uh, it can generate atmospheric noise, predominates in this specific spectrum. This is, this is outside the millimeter. This, these are the frequencies that we are now using. Galactic noise predominates, meteor bursts, micro discharge of warm clouds, you know, look, all of the strange sounds, sorry, coming from, coming from the use of frequencies. Weather control, mind control, these are the Gwen Towers, different from cell towers. You will see all of these wires coming down into the ground. Ground-based frequencies, they can shoot these ultra-low frequencies through the ground. They can also use them for ultra high frequencies. So if they were supposed to be 200, 300 miles apart, why then are they now littered all over the country? Mind control. Back in 1974, every vertical line is one short pulse of microwave signal at a frequency to which the human brain is sensitive. The output is now more or less a steady tone like tinnitus, but with hypnosis embedded. So they can embed hypnosis into people's brains. They can target an individual, a region, or a whole population. And those voices that they hear and I'm not talking about the, the voice to skull technology. I'm talking about why our population is so unbelievably crazy, insane, off their rocker, uh, unable to use their brains, and they are so cemented in the matrix. They can use these frequencies, embed or entrain into people's brains in a whole region or population voices, hypnosis, but they hear themselves thinking. They think it's their opinion. So when we look at how many people that, that we see on mainstream media and how many people are in our own lives that are acting and saying things that are so unbelievably insane, There goes my boat. Now it's 
for? Um, well, you got to <laughs> realize that this technology is This technology exists. So, yeah. Ultrasonic dental drilling, uh, electronic induction heating, lightning, in between infras infrasonic and sonic brain waves are affected. And they know people's brain waves are affected. But I'll end with this. Sun's Corona 4G generation. So with these 4G, uh, the microwaves, they can generate sun's corona, the effective noise, um, sun's chromosphere, radio brightness at center, and see, sun's photosphere, radio emissions from sunspot flare. You know, I just want to say that I'm sorry for saying you know a lot. I think a lot of what we are saying And it could be that sun simulator. Um, man is generating this with the use of these frequencies. Which, I'm sorry to say, um, that firmament, well, if man is generating all of what is taking place, doesn't that suggest that the idea that there is a firmament around our flat earth um, is not, it may not be the case? I know I just threw out something provocative. Uh, look, I would have to do an awful lot of research to find out exactly what they're talking about with the sun's corona and the, all of the uh, chromosome, uh, chromosphere, photosphere, all of this stuff. But I do think that we're living a time where man can simulate anything um, and get people to believe, you know, a certain thing based on man simulation due to these frequencies, and then you get a lot of bickering. So, the most important thing here is the oxygen. 1968, guys. There's nothing to link below. I'm not going to link below to the articles. If you want the articles, you can get them by the titles. Things are going to get a lot worse, so I do think that everybody should be working on their psyche, you know, their, um, their emotional and spiritual strength, because already an awful lot of people have expressed to me, and I've expressed how difficult it is to watch so many people get destroyed and life get destroyed and these fires. It's not just the two legged, four legged, it's all life. But we're going to be seeing it more and more frequently. And yeah, it is time to really sharpen, stay in good health physically, because if you're not, that it really is true. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. You just, you go down. So keep your health up, physical, and do all you can to really prepare yourself for even a darker nightmare that is coming. And on that note, hope you all have a good night.